Gavin, thank you for talking to us. Um, usually when you score three at a place like Chesham United, you come away with something, but uh, a frustrating game as we uh, crash out the trophy. Yeah, I mean, uh, your first point there, I think, um, I don't know the, the stats of, of Chesham at home, but I, there probably won't be many teams who, who have come here and scored three in the last five years, I would think. Um, so, on the plus side, yeah, um, that, that is the plus. On the minus side, we've had to score five today to, to win the game, um, avoiding penalties, of course. Um, so, the last goal obviously will stick in people's minds because uh, you know, it's, it's a mistake um, and, it's, and it's given them the win. You know, Overall, did I think the application was there? Yeah. Did I think there were some good performances on the pitch? Yes. I think there were... Uh, a few more um, not quite at it today than, than were at it, but we've been in the side in the, in the game, and uh, you know it's avoidable where we are now. It's avoidable, but um, we haven't avoided it because we haven't done things properly. And um, I just think that um, you know we, we, we we're going to need to be a lot better next week than that. that that's for sure. So um, you know, so there's some pluses, some bits I can take from it, some real bonuses today. But largely, the result is all important, and uh, we haven't achieved it. And, uh, and for that, I, I, uh, I'm very disappointed. Did you take positives from the way we played, mind, um, going forwards? I mean, I imagine it was rather sombre kind of after the game, but um, but surely sort of positives from the from the 90 minutes to take out, despite despite conceding four in the manner we did. I mean, there are positives, and, and you know, in going, going in on the offensive um, today and the offensive way that we played, I think there are there are some positives. Of course, there are. You know, we've scored three goals. We've scored three quite decent goals uh, in that respect. Um, but um, I don't think they've had to work hard enough for their goals. Certainly, a couple of them. Um, and, and you know, we we got built across this brilliantly at times. Um, so a week's a long time in football because one week ago we were we were talking about how we were good, how good we were in shape and limiting a side like that. Today we've quite simply made mistakes and it's got tons of plus shoulder about it in some respects. It's different. It's different obviously the way that things have happened, but it's got tones of it. And, and, and what this level of football tells you is that if you aren't going to do things right, it will exploit you. And, uh, and, and today I think that's why we're sitting with the result that we are. I feel d desperately sorry for the, the supporters who've travelled in good numbers again. And, and I am... You know, I'm not happy bunny, let's put it that way, I'm a happy man, you know, because I, I expect better from our boys. We could have perhaps folded going behind as early as we did, and albeit from across and, and likewise with the second, but um, but both times, in fact, on three occasions, we, we did respond quite well and uh, showed character, I suppose, in, in, in that regard. That's, that's one of the massive positives. Actually. And actually, you know, when we, when we fell behind with the fourth one, we still had a look at it and thought, you know what, we can go, we can go again here. We've got, we've got a history of doing that, and um, we can, we can, get, we can do that. And you know, the second half performance was was fairly dominant from us in, in respect of um, where it was played. We get nothing for for possession stats and uh, for, for for being in, in good areas of the pitch. You need to score goals, and um, unfortunately, uh, we have come here today. And three should be enough to, to, to see you through, um, to at least take you to penalties. And it hasn't. And that tells me that there's something fundamentally wrong today at the other end. Mm, debut appearances for uh, George Sykes and uh, Obi Onyaguara as well this afternoon. Uh, how did you rate their performances? Yeah, so, I mean, both great contributions, very different in respect of what, what they do. I mean, George is still getting up to speed, so let's get that right. Um, we knew that. Um, it was never in doubt that he was going to play today. Whether we could get him through the 90 was was, was the other thing. So he's still getting up to speed. He's had a bit of a chequered time at Bishop Stalford in, in respect of playing time. Um, and Obi, you know, uh, we've talked about him on the website this week. And, um, you know, I think he's a lad with great potential. Uh, and he's come on and, 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 and more than contributed to the game. Um, you know, we'll, we'll try and work with him to, to be a bit more disciplined out of position, but we don't want to take away what he brings in position, of course. So it's all about enhancing him, and uh, I think he's going to be a great lad for us. Mm, and uh, no Town of Fan needs an introduction to what faces us next week at Cray Valley, which, um, despite obviously the uh, the potential mismatch in terms of uh, non-league steps, it's going to be a difficult game. They Having won again today will, uh, will pose a threat. Listen, um, look, you know, to, to the... To a person who looks at non-league football from afar, um, you would look at it and go, OK, step four against step three, 
Um, Enfield should win that, even though away from home. I'm, I'm sorry, you know, we've got an equally difficult game next week. Um, uh, you, they are a step four side in stature with, with a step three team, in my opinion. Um, so let's get that straight out there. We've got a lot to do for next week. They've got a lot to, to do in training this week in respect of it. And if we don't play well enough, we will, we will, we will go out of the competition. Uh, you know, so realistically, but if they can go to Howe Zoe and do what they did last week and, and, and see that through, then they've got every chance of progressing, every chance. So I'm certainly not taking um, Cray lightly. Um, they are a side that will afford the respect they deserve. I know the management team down there, they're, they're good, do, be, be, be well marshalled, um, and they've got good players. So, so look, you know, our boys uh, maybe a bit of a reality check today in, in respect of, of some things. Mm, we'll see you at Cray. Thank you, Gavin.